Oh, hey, sorry, I was lost in the music. With what, you ask? With my Galaxy Buds Pro, and that's what I'm reviewing today. These earbuds feature active noise cancellation, customizable controls, and voice detect, which will adjust the volume and settings when you're speaking. I'll be showing off all of that and more with my brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip phone, which if you haven't noticed on social media, I'm obsessed with. And I'm actually gonna be doing a whole mini series going Android for a month, and I'm really excited about it. And if you are too, well then you should subscribe and click that bell for alerts. That way you know when these videos come out. I think it's time for the review. Let's do it. The Galaxy Buds Pro are sleek metallic earbuds that are water resistant with an IPX7 rating and come in three colors, phantom black, silver, and violet. The noise canceling buds go for $199. Inside the box are three size ear tips, a USB-C cable, and the earbuds stored in a wireless charging case that can also be charged via USB-C. The buds get five to eight hours of battery life on a full charge, and a total of about 18 hours with its charging case. A five minute charge will give you an hour of playtime. And if you don't have a charger on you, don't sweat because select Samsung phones can use wireless power share and I can share the power on my Z Flip with my Galaxy Buds Pro. And while you're at it, why don't you charge your friend's iPhone? And while you're at that, why don't you charge your friend's AirPods Pro? This Samsung feature literally blows my mind and give this video a like if it blows your mind too. The case has two battery status lights, which relay the charge of the case and the earbuds. The stemless design makes it a bit tough to grab them out of the case and place them in your ear. It actually made me appreciate the design of the AirPods Pro, but once they're in your ear, they feel very secure. And the best part about the stemless design is I can take my shirt off, which I love to do, and I don't have to worry about them flinging out of my ear. Plus, when I place them down on my desk, the ear tips face up, which is really great for not getting COVID in your ear. Is that too much? That's fine. Okay. A major issue I found from their stemless design and controls is that when I'm going to adjust them in my ear, I'll sometimes accidentally activate one of the controls and it's really annoying. Also, even worse, when I'm on a phone call and I go to adjust it, easily I can accidentally hang up on the call and that's not cool. How did these controls even get through testing? It's no wonder there's a block touches setting, but this shouldn't have to exist. I think Samsung at least has to adjust the way you hang up a call on these because it was just way too easy for that to happen. So let's talk about these controls. Controls are accessible on both earbuds. Tap once to play or pause, tap twice to play the next track or answer a call, triple tap to play a previous track, and touch and hold to decline a call or access a customized control. This control, along with noise canceling features, is adjusted on the Samsung Wear app. The Wear app is where you initially connect the buds to an Android device. After that first connection, you'll be able to quickly connect and switch between your devices. The earbuds also work really well with non-Android devices. You don't need the Wear app. To go into pairing mode, just hold down on both sides for three seconds. There you go. And then I can connect to my MacBook Pro right there. And I also have access to Siri. So just by holding down on the left side, like so. What's the weather in Los Angeles? Eh, it's always nice in LA. We don't need to hear the response. On the Wear app, you'll have access to a swath of tools. First, each earbud can get its own touch and hold setting. I've got my right one set to switch between active noise cancellation and ambient sound, which I'll tell you about in just a bit and my left is set up to use my device's voice assistant. More on that in a bit too. Let's talk sound quality and features. Samsung has minimized the chip size in the earbuds, making way for a two-way speaker. These allow for 360 degree audio and realistic immersion. They can also track head movements for 3D sound. 
With all this tech and the power of AKG sound, these earbuds sound fantastic. You can even customize the tone of audio produced right on the Wear app. These buds have active noise cancellation, or ANC. Its outer mic monitors ambient noise and its inner mic monitors noise in the ear. Using this data, the buds reduce outside noise by 99%. And let me tell you, it works incredibly well. If you're working from home and there's construction outside or you have a loud roommate, these will absolutely work for you. Trust me, I would know. On the app, you can choose between high and low noise canceling. So if you're someone who is sensitive to that bit of pressure with noise cancellation, this could be a really great option for you. I personally don't feel much pressure at either setting. If you wanna be in touch with your surroundings, there's ambient sound. And like I said earlier, all I need to do on my earbuds is I hold down the right side and it will switch over. This is Samsung's version of Apple's transparency mode, but it goes a bit further, giving you a customizable gauge from low to extra high. On extra high, when I talk, it sounds like I'm talking through a megaphone. Here's what everything sounds like. So here's what it sounds like when I have ambient sound set to low. Now I'll switch it over to medium, and as you can see, my voice is a little bit louder. Setting it to high, it's even louder, so I'm definitely gonna be able to hear more of that outside world. And when I go to extra high, it is incredibly loud. So I'm definitely gonna hear that truck coming at me. Sometimes when the earbuds are set to ambient sound and I have nothing playing, I'll actually hear like a static feedback sound from maybe other electronics around me. And that's just unacceptable for premium head headphones. You shouldn't hear feedback. It's not a huge issue, obviously, because most likely I am listening to music or a podcast, but not cool. To top everything off, the earbuds have intelligent ANC with a feature called voice detect. The buds can detect when you're speaking and it will switch to ambient sound and lower the music. You can also set in settings how long you want it to stay lower after that last word spoken. This is a great hands-free feature and I'm sure I'd get a lot more use out of it if I was actually going out and speaking to people more often. And of course, premium earbuds wouldn't be complete without a voice assistant. And these can use Bixby, Google Assistant, and even Siri when you're connected to Apple products. Unfortunately, the hands-free assistant can only work with Bixby right now, and I would like to see it with at least Google Assistant in the future. For both Google Assistant and Siri, you are going to need that control with the long touch. But if you don't have an Android device, you can't access the Wear app to adjust controls and settings. I'd only recommend these earbuds for people who own at least one Android device. Look, I think that these earbuds are really, really great, but there are some details that are missed here and kind of really ruin the experience for me. First, you need to take out both earbuds in order to pause the music. What I really like about my AirPods is that I can easily just take one out and the music will pause. Second, and this one's really huge for me, is that if you take both earbuds out, lay them around, they won't disconnect from the device you're using them with. You have to place them both in the case and close the case for it to disconnect and have the audio come out from that device. This has been really, really annoying as I'm using this because I often will just leave my ear pods out because I'm gonna put them back in soon, but when they're not in my ears, I want it to play from the phone. This is a very important feature that I think Samsung can fix in a software update. The Galaxy Buds Pro sound great and have a lot of innovative features unique to the device. I just think they need some fine tuning with the small details. If you're an Android user, these will work really well with your devices. If you're an Apple user, until there's a Wear app and hands-free voice assistant for Siri, stick with the AirPods. Oh, and you should totally watch my AirPods Pro review if you're considering them. Ecosystem aside, I do prefer my AirPods Pro over these Galaxy Buds Pro. And I've even been able to connect them to my Galaxy Z Flip phone, which is awesome. You do just lose that functionality, which I enjoy, of the pause when you take them out. 
If you've used Galaxy Buds before, I'd really like to hear what your experience has been with them, and I kind of want to hear what you think my thoughts on them are. So let that let me know in the comments. I've got new videos coming every Thursday, and I have a really exciting episode called Going Android for a Month because I went Android for a month, maybe even longer, who knows? I have so much to say, so that's coming soon. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell for alerts, uh, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Until next time, I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.